Welcome to the International Auto Show IAA here in Frankfurt and what a nostalgic moment for me. After more than three months, here is one of three B-Class f cell again. In these cars we drove around the world emission free. But now let's switch from yesterday to tomorrow. Entering the vehicle behind me means not only getting into a car, because this is almost like a time machine. A research car F125 is meant to be a visionary outlook on all the technology that a Mercedes-Benz S-Class sedan will offer in the future. Fortunately, I'm not alone on this trip to tomorrow. With me are Dr. Klaus Ehlers, Director for Society, Vehicle Concepts and Human Factors at Daimler and Ralf Lamberti, Director for Infotainment, Telematics and Cabin Electronics. Dr. Ehlers, how much ahead of its time is this car? It's about two generations. We are envisioning the sporty sedan of the year 2025. And some of the elements like the drivetrain or the vehicle architecture or the compartment, maybe the safety innovations, will be available in 2025. Maybe the most important aspect is the propulsion technology of this car. The hydrogen fuel cell generates the current for four electric motors. The system generates an output of up to 313 horsepower, with a fuel consumption equivalent to only 2.7 liters of diesel per 100 kilometers. Due to the new tanks that can be fully integrated into the body shell structure itself, the F-125 has a much, much larger hydrogen capacity than our World Drive B-Class. The F-125 has a range of 1,000 kilometers or 650 miles emission-free. Its body is an intelligent mix of carbon fiber, aluminum and high-strength steels, which allows a significant weight reduction, provides even more safety and looks just sexy. See how smooth and seamless this body is. There isn't even a B-pillar, which means perfect outlook for the passengers. And through this large door, it's very comfortable to get in. But there is no handle. Oh, I can show you that. I want to do that as well. The Galwing doors can be opened by a simple gesture. And was the exterior stunning wow. enough? The interior is maybe even more breathtaking to me. Now I swear you, I never said in a car like this before. I feel like Captain Future. What we unfortunately can't show you with the camera, the display in front of me is three-dimensional without any special glasses or something. It's just to get a better overview of all the data I might need. And you see this, this is a touchpad but I'm not touching it. Simply by gestures with my hands, I can browse the menus of the F-125. Here, for example, I choose a music mix from rebellious to peaceful. I guess all this is not luxury gadgets. So what's the main purpose for the technology that's inside? Then it's one part of your, our at your command strategy, we call it natural handling. So you have to interact with, with all these new technologies in a more natural way. Which means I'm more focused on the traffic. Which means that we pay a lot of attention on the driver distraction. Um, and you are more focused and you can really follow everything on the road. And all the interaction with the systems is very natural. That's our goal. Numerous innovative assistance systems relieve driver stress in many situations. They allow autonomous lane changes and even automatic overtaking maneuvers. A smartphone or an iPod can be used for remote control of the car's navigation, entertainment or heating system. But I really don't know what's better, to drive this car or to be a passenger. Look at this lounge seat and it's magic. I can control the monitor in front of me with my hands without touching it. But every science fiction trip has an end. Okay, 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 time's over. Captain Future has to disembark back to present.